The powerful play, A View from the Bridge, by Arthur Miller, inspired my dear friend Renzo Rossellini, the musician and brother of Roberto Rossellini, the famous movie director, inspired him for uh, an opera that uh, was so really near to, to the imagination of an Italian musician, because uh, the view from the bridge is a story about the Italian emigrants in the United States, the simple workers in Brooklyn. And uh, all the play is dominated by a gigantic personage, Eddie Carbone, who, of course, was chosen, as long as the voice concerns, to be or a baritone or a bass. Apart from my friendship uh, with uh, Renzo Rossellini, that was already materialized with another opera that he wrote for me before that, The Bells, an opera that was written for the first time specially for the TV and was very well received and after the TV premiere was also uh, performed in the theaters. The first, the world premiere for the theater was taken in, in Rome, just as the view from the bridge after a couple of years. And I should say that the great uh, uh, popularity of this play and then the popularity of the movie, both um, uh, that have been both uh, interpreted by uh, Ralph Vallone, of course created a curiosity for the opera. And so really Rossellini did a very, a very smart uh, job in, in composing this opera that uh, had really the attention of the um, uh, Italian audience and after that also the European audience um, because also of the play and of the movie that was very well known but the opera had his own success I must say because uh, all the theaters from the Rome Opera Theater that uh, had the premiere then Naples right um, away and then um, uh, the theater of Parma for instance Parma which is supposed to be the theater that never accepts anything new and is always criticizing even uh, uh, those that uh, are the most famous artists in the world uh, singing Verdi who who is supposed to be known only by those that live in Parma you see but the opera even in Parma had an enormous success and this was really uh, the great achievement of this opera uh, in front of the Italian audiences. Then the opera was translated in French and also in France it, it had an enormous uh, popularity. I played it, I sang it several times in Bordeaux, in Paris and in Marseille. Well, uh, I must say that, uh, of course, uh, I, I, that was a privilege for me to be chosen for this role, not only be chosen for this role, but to have this role really uh, um, so well fitted on me that I could do anything I want with it. I could have, I could do all my best effects uh, from the vocal point of view and from the dramatic point of view. The impact with the role was uh, extraordinary. And the music was uh, really very well arranged in the way of uh, outlining in the best uh, possible way mm, the, mm, the the drama the drama and the character and I'm not saying only about my character that one of Eddie Carbone but also all the others Catherine the, the attractive uh, niece and uh, Beatrice the wonderful wonderful um, wife and all the other uh, companions of Eddie Carbone those simple uh, harbor workers with their own characters and the young Rodolfo and uh, also that little chorus at the end so mystical and so resigned to the fate of men like Eddie Carbone that cannot uh, avoid to perform what really they, their own character mm, forced them to do in their life is a, um, is a, a very very moving piece and moving moment musically and dramatically. I must say that, uh, of course, uh, I got, I've got to this uh, role because uh, of my previous uh, performances of many, many roles 
that are supposed to be the most uh, dramatic and the most appealing and the most demanding from a bass. I, I'm speaking about the, the roles from the large repertoire, Boris Godunov, all the Mephistopheles, and Philip II, and uh, Henry VIII from Anna Bolena, and uh, Don Quixote, and uh, Archibaldo from Love of Three Kings, even Don Giovanni. I mean, all, all the roles that are so mm, uh, important for a, a big career of, for a bass, and uh, they uh, gave me uh, the, the attention, they offered me the attention of the audiences and of the critics, and uh, I was, in a, I must say now, because <laughs> it's very objective for me to say it, I was famous for my interpretations, not only from the vocal point of view, but uh, uh, especially from the point of view of the, mm, of the drama and of the truth that I was always, always searching on the stage. This um, um, gave me also the, the privilege to be the one who sang the Murder in the Cathedral, written by Pizzetti and dedicated to me, really. Uh, the role of Thomas Beckett was an extraordinary vehicle for me to go on with my career after uh, more than 20 years. I had a, a really uh, new experiences with uh, something that was completely um, new for me and for those that were uh, listening to, to this new opera. And uh, so it was really, uh, this, at this moment, it was like a, a fashion to think about me and dedicate to me opera, new operas. So I sang again another one contemporary opera like Wallenstein by Zafred, or Dubrovsky by Jacopo Napoli, or uh, The Leopard, The Leopard, another movie famous for a novel by Tommaso Lanzi da Lampedusa and for the movie that uh, has been uh, interpreted by Burt Lancaster. The opera was written by Angelo Musco, fantastic role also that of Count Salina. But let's go back to mm, View from the Bridge. View from the Bridge has really mm, also mm, the, uh, the fortune to have been uh, composed with such a taste that it isn't uh, too long and it isn't too short. I mean, it's a really an opera so intense and so uh, satisfying um, for, for the mm, subject, of course, and uh, for all that uh, you can ask from a, perf a dramatic performance with music. I mean, a musical drama. It is a musical drama in the most uh, truly mm, uh, sense, true sense of the word. And I enjoyed immensely doing it. I enjoyed it uh, immensely to have this uh, special um, friendship, this special uh, companionship with Renzo Rossellini, who was, of course, near to me during the, mm, the, the studying of the opera, the preparation of the opera, and then with with all the premieres that I had to, to perform. Uh, this uh, meant something else, something else, because Rossellini was so mm, thrilled by the success of this uh, first idea that he had mm, to, mm, to rely on me, uh, that he wrote for me other four operas. Uh, the last one was the, the, de the mm, Dead Queen, La Reine Morte, on text by Monterland, a very, very beautiful, I think it, it is uh, his uh, masterpiece. Another was, was The Adventurer, um, also a great role. And another one was The Legend of the Return. And again, uh, oh my goodness, it was so interesting to work, you know, with, with an author who is living and is near to you and can give you all the suggestions. And at the same time, you can, with him, find out what is the best mm, to really to get to the truth of a role and to get to the best effect on the audience with a modern text with without um, being forced to go through the usual routines that sometimes are, are wonderful when when it's uh, a question of uh, of uh, masterpieces of the past but sometimes might be also a little bit boring and uh, I'm happy to say that uh, my career has these two um, very important uh, facets. The, o the operas that uh, every bass, bass uh, wants to perform because they are really the, the goal of the career of the bass, uh, and I, I quoted them before that. But then all the new ones that came 
to to give me a new uh, a new life really and uh, i must add to those um, also the macbeth by ernest bloch for instance and the emperor jones by greenberg and uh, the and a beauty a new demon that i added to other mephistopheles the, the in the trilogia das barcas by Joli braga santos and uh, well i i really must express here my gratitude first of all to renzo rossellini uh, the author of the view from the bridge and the author for me of so many new emotions and new uh, experiences with uh, um, this uh, fantastic magic world of the theater and of the uh, search for the truth on the stage where uh, anything every anything can happen but everything is really uh, tied to a kind of symbol of all humanity <laughs>